Good morning, everyone. So, I am Mr. Igmejo F. Tameses Jr. from the UCNHS, and we are going to have a topic on solving polynomial equations, which is week 9 of quarter 1. Now, we have to remember some things. Check muna kung yung polynomial is in standard form, meaning naka-arrange ba yung ating mga exponents from highest to lowest and then equate to zero. So, the number of roots is determined by the highest degree or power of the polynomial. So, kung raised to four, there should be four roots. Raised to 3, there should be 3 roots. If the equation is linear, madali na lang isolve yung value of x you know, by manipulation. Now, if the equation is quadratic, you could either use factoring or the quadratic formula. For equations having an exponents of 4 or higher or even 3, kailangan yung gumamit ng rational zero theorem. Kapag naging quadratic na yung ating equation, then pwede na tayong bumalik sa ating step number 3. So we now have the following activities. Sa activity 1, solve for more. So check natin yung equation. Hindi siya nasa standard form. Gawin natin siyang standard. So papansin ninyo, meron tayong common factor of x. So we could now factor x. Meron may iiwan na equation, x cubed minus 6x squared minus plus 11x minus 6. So x is now equal to 0. For the cubic equation, pwede kayong gumamit ng ating rational zero theorem, wherein we have p all over q, which is 6 divided by 1, 6 being p, and... Ah, and q equals 1, which is the coefficient of the cubic function. Now, since 6 yung ating constant term, I suggest na you make use of the values plus and minus 1, plus and minus 2, plus and minus 3. Huwag nyo gagamitin yung 6. Pag nagawa nyo na yun, makukuha natin yung ating factors, which are x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. So we now have the values of x, which is x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, x is equal to 2, and x is equal to 3. For activity 2, kanina hinanap natin yung roots or yung values of x. Now we are given the values of x, hanapin natin yung equation. I rewrite natin yung given na plus and minus 2, 3, and 3 over 5. It will become the quantity x minus 2, the quantity x plus 2, the quantity the binomial x minus 3, the binomial x minus 3 over 5. Since fraction yun, simplify natin siya ulit, we now have the binomial x minus 2, x minus uh, plus 2, the binomial x minus 3, and then we have 5x minus 3. We simply multiply, you know, unahin natin yung dalawang magkatabi, x minus 2, x plus 2, we have x squared minus 4. Then we have x minus 3 multiplied by the binomial 5x minus 3, lalabas yung ating quadratic. Then you multiply both quadratics and you are going to have x raised to 4 minus 18x cubed minus 39x squared plus 72x minus 36. We have five roots, so we have an exponent raised to 4. For activity 3, yeah, apply lang natin siya sa real scenario. So we have a rectangle. Ang kanyang width ay x squared plus x minus 6. Ang kanyang length ay 5x squared plus 20x minus 25. What is it? the perimeter? So ito yung ating given. Now, the perimeter of a rectangle is twice the width plus twice the length. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon ay multiply natin ng 2 ang width at saka length. So, makukuha natin yung 
twice the width as 2x squared plus 2x minus 12 and twice the length as 10x squared plus 40x minus 50. Since perimeter yung ating hinahanap, we simply add the 2, 2w plus 2l. And we now have a perimeter of 12x squared plus 42x. According to Nicholas Copernicus, to know that we know what we know and to know that we do not know what we do not know is true knowledge. Thank you, everybody. Hope to see you soon.